Happy Sunday morning, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Carol Cummins. For those of you who do know me, congratulations! <laughs> Today we celebrate Pentecost and faith-led stories. My story is about the Holy Spirit, which is also what I think Pentecost means to me. It's about the Holy Spirit. My experience begins in my car on the 35-minute drive to work every day. I call it Carol Ann's Karaoke. I turn on Caleb Christian Radio, 98.9 FM. I sing boldly. I sing loudly. I have a hand or two in the air, and occasionally I use my water cup as my mic. I crack myself up, and the passers by think I'm crazy, and I'm quite all right with that. On a particular day, the new song, Keep Me in the Moment, by Jeremy Camp came on. The song spoke to me loud and clear. It gave me chills. It related to everything that I've been feeling and experiencing with COVID-19, working, not working, all the worries, all the fear, everything. When I feel the Holy Spirit hover over me, I am overwhelmed emotionally by his power and his glory. My heart swells up. I choke up. I tear up. I feel his presence. I know he's there. And it's a great feeling. The song speaks of staying in the present moment, the here and now, finding what's important and what isn't, living with your eyes wide open, paying attention to right now what's around you, so you don't miss what the Lord has for you. Asking him to show you what matters and throw away all the things that you're chasing after. God laid the word focus on my heart. He does this to me often with other words. I look and see that word pop up all throughout my day. Sometimes it's a couple of weeks. I try to find out what he wants me to know, what he wants me to see. I stay attentive. I stay aware. So what he told me that day was to focus on him, keep my eyes on him, my thoughts on him. Look for his hand everywhere in my day, not rejecting anything, none of his gifts, but finding him in the good, in the bad, in every situation. There's a lesson in that, and he's trying to show me what that is. When I do that, I put him at the center of my life. Everything else falls into place. I feel his pre- I feel his peace. I feel his joy, and it comforts me. No matter what the everything else is, he promises to be there so we can walk through it together. I'm never alone. He is always with me. He calls me his child. He tells me he'll take care of me, and he does. Even when I mess up every single day, the promise he gives me is that he will always be there. As long as I keep asking, seeking, and knocking, he keeps answering. Acts chapter verse Acts chapter 5, verse 32. We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. Thank you for listening to me. I hope this story touched your life, and if you get a chance, please listen to the music.